and nobody wants to be out and about looking fabulously, feeling beautiful and amazing, and then like you can't walk because your legs are getting rubbed raw. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here to share my summer essentials. Why is it summer? Why? Like, <sighs> here we are halfway into the year. Welcome. <laughs> so summer is actually, it's like one of my favorite slash least favorite seasons just because it's so incredibly hot and humid where I live. But I love being able to wear fun things. I love being able to indulge in my pool, get in the hot tub and enjoy life. So I wanna share my summer essentials because I have a lot of goodies to share. So if you are excited about summer and you want to know what are some of my top picks, favorite items that I'll be using, wearing, and enjoying, then please keep watching. Okay, let's start with skincare because I'm very, very oily. So in the summertime, skincare is really, really important to me. Let's start with body care. The first item is my Naturium Salicylic Acid De Perfector Body Wash. Now I have to give a shout out to my girl Coco McQueen because a few months ago in a video she spoke about how she was loving this for kind of evening out her skin tone and she had gotten it because I had raved about it months and months ago but I didn't know that this helped to even your skin tone so the past few months I've been using it oh I've been trying to use it more regularly to see if I can notice a difference I have a lot of uneven skin all over my body because I break out I originally purchased this to use it for my back acne which it has been very successful at clearing, but I'm always open to something to even out my skin tone. So I can't wait to use this more this summer. If you do get hot and sweaty a lot and you run or jog or work out or do anything like that outside, definitely make sure you're using something like this if you are prone to body acne, it's going to be great. My next body care item has been a staple for a few months and this is the Paula's Choice Weightless Body Treatment, 2% BHA and this is like a body serum. I use this every night to help exfoliate the skin basically right here on my arm, my fore. Is it my forearm? I don't know. Like my elbow to my shoulder. <laughs> That's where I use this product. I love this because it takes the place of a scrub. Now I haven't ditched my scrub completely but if I use this nightly I don't have to use a body scrub. So I really love this. Just make sure you are using a sunscreen if you use something like this because it does contain salicylic acid which helps to smooth and brighten your skin tone. So that's amazing. And speaking of which, my body sunscreen is also another essential for this season. And this is the Super Goo Play Antioxidant Sunscreen Mist that is infused with vitamin C with an SPF of 50. This is my favorite sunscreen. I've been using it for years. I always get it during the Nordstrom anniversary sale when it is on sale because it's a little pricey. I love it because it's a mist. So I can mist it over my body and go like this and that's it. Sunscreen Sunscreens can tend to carry a thicker texture and just because I have oily skin on my face, I'm not a fan of like really thick viscous creams. So I love that this is convenient to use. It also locks so you can take it with you. I've been using it for years. It's a staple. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, my next product is going to be a self tanner. Now, I'm a black girl who tans. Uh, my upper body is a lot darker than my lower body. So like this color right here, mm -mm. my legs are are like this color. And that's just because I don't really like to show my legs. <laughs> so I'm getting back into using a self tanner because now that the summertime is here, like I wanna be able to be out and about and not have people like, why is your lower body five shades lighter than your upper body? Not that it bothers me, but it would just be nice to have a more even skin tone. So that is why I do use a self tanner. And this is the Saint Tropez Berry Sorbet Bronzing Mousse. Now I do believe the Berry Sorbet was a limited edition scent but just their regular tanning mousse works well. I have used a couple of products from the Saint Tropez self tanning line but this is my favorite. It also does work just fine with my skin tone. If you are a little darker than me you just may need to apply this over the course of two days but after you apply it within 24 hours your tan does start to develop even more. It is a little pricey but it's mess free. You use it with the tanning mitt that it comes with and it works fabulously. Yeah this is really great. I have to do a review on Instagram. I keep forgetting. 
good. My next body care item I will be using in heavy rotation is the Mega Babe Thigh Rescue. And this is an anti-friction stick. Basically, I'm plus size, I have very big thighs, and when it's hot outside and my legs are sweating, I can tend to get chafing, and nobody wants to be out and about looking fabulously, feeling beautiful and amazing, and then like you can't walk because your legs are getting rubbed raw. It's not a great feeling, so this has really worked well for me. I've been using this over the course of about two years, and I love it. Now, First Aid Beauty did come out with a product like this, but I like the Mega Babe one a little more. You can pick this up at Target. It's really, really great. They also have it in a travel size, so you can keep it with you on the go. So this does work at providing like a cushion layer to act as a barrier, but you do have to apply it like every few hours, so I do think that the mini size is great, but this works really well. Okay, now let's get on to skincare for your face. My number one item I'll be using besides sunscreen is this cleanser. The Osea Ocean Cleansing Mud. If you saw my Osea skincare overview of the complete line, I will link that down below. And you already know how much I love this. The most deep cleansing cleanser I have ever used. It makes my skin feel so invigorated and clean. I believe it has either peppermint oil, or eucalyptus, it feels like you have just gone to the spa. There's a cooling sensation over your face. This is amazing. I've been using it every morning and night because it really helps to like deeply cleanse my skin and specifically in the morning because I like to mattify my skin. This has been great. It is very, 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 very expensive. I am usually not a proponent of spending this much money for a cleanser. But the first time I tried it, I was hooked. The first. If you have combination to oily or very oily skin, you need it. Like, try it out. I believe they sell it in a travel size version, but you're gonna love it. I'm just warning you now. The next product I am gonna be using in heavy rotation this summer, but I'm always using the Dr. Dennis Gross Peel Pads. I've been using this for probably a year now. Right now, I'm using the Extra Strength because I do have oily, acne-prone skin, and this works well for me. If you want brightened, smooth, hydrated skin that is more luminous, that is rid of hyperpigmentation and acne scarring, you need this. I was looking at a picture of my skin from this year compared to last. The only thing huge that I have changed in my routine is the addition of these Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Alpha Beta Universal, well, extra strength peel pads, and they have transformed the texture and tone of my skin. Now you are supposed to use them every day, but they're too expensive for me to use this every day, so I use it every two to three days. So like if I'm gonna film, I'll use this in the morning, or like if I'm gonna go take photos or be out at an event or something, I'll use these the morning of. Expensive, super, super expensive, but you will see a difference in your skin immediately. If you don't want to feel committed to something like this, don't even try them because you're gonna love it and then you're gonna be like, ugh, now I have to spend a hundred dollars, yeah. I'm warning you now. And with all these yummy skincare products, you bet your bottom dollar that I am using a sunscreen. Sunscreen is a must, no matter if you are purple, clear, white, black, brown, pink, or red. Specifically if you're using something like a peel pad because it makes your skin more sensitive to the damaging rays of the sun. So this is currently my favorite. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Invisible UV Flawless Primer. I never know if it's a primer or a sunscreen, but it works as both without feeling like a dimethicone or trimethicone smoothing primer. So this works well. It makes my skin glow. It makes me very hydrated without making me oily and it does not leave a white cast. It is about $50 but I love the texture. I'm very texture specific especially in the summertime because it's so hot and humid and I want to look matte and perfected but this is a really great product. I am almost done but I have a backup thank god. Okay let's get on to Oh, nope, I lied. I have one more skincare product and I use these today and I'm shocked. All the girls have been raving about this product. This is the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops, a pore refining and blurring serum. Yeah, I was highly, highly impressed. Um, it feels like a lotion going on and I didn't think that it was doing much. 
until I finished my makeup. This product is amazing. If you have enlarged pores, you're gonna love this. It won't shrink your pores per se because nothing can shrink your pores. They're the size that they are, that's just biology, but you can help blur them and decrease at least the look of your pores. So I really enjoy this. Like this is my first time using it and my face looks so like just flawless and I don't look flawless to begin with. So yeah, I'll be using these every time I apply my makeup. And you guys know with Glow Recipe, it's like I either really love the product or really hate it, but this is really a great product. So shout out to Glow Recipe. Okay, let's get into fragrance because that's one of my favorite categories. And the first scent I'm gonna be using in heavy rotation this summer is Bond Number no. 9 Nomad. I got this this past Christmas and I love it. Usually I wore this at night, but within the past few months, I've been wearing this in the daytime. Oh my goodness, so strong, so potent, so sweet, so very sexy. Intoxicating, a compliment getter. So this is a rose oud fruity scent. A lot like Swiss Arabian Shagaf oud without being sharp. This just smells amazing. It's sweet and deep and it lasts all day, especially if you spray it on your clothing. It is very expensive, which I hate because I don't think it's worth almost $500, I know. But it's really amazing and it smells so beautiful. I do still think this is a unisex scent. It's rose and oud, but it's more rose forward, but it's not too, too fruity. This is just blended so well. It's very well rounded and it is amazing. The next scent that will be in heavy rotation this summer is my Moogler Angel Nova. And this is a scent that I love wearing every summer because it just smells so bright and fresh. This is like a rose oud patchouli. It is a fresh, fruity rose. I wanna say it has some raspberry in it as well, but it's not deep. It's more on the fresh, fruity side of a rose. Lovely, lovely scent. It wears so beautifully in the hot weather. It smells amazing and it's not too deep and intense, but it still smells very, very elevated for a luxury fragrance. Um, a lot of people say that this reminds them of Delina. I don't see that at all. It's a little too fresh and fruity, whereas Delina has a very sharp rhubarb note that makes it a little sour. But I love this and I'll be wearing it all summer long. Hi, editing Keiko here. So this actually arrived right after I finished filming, so I have to include this. This is the scent of summer. You need it, Ambrosia Imperial by Navitas Parfums and AI the Great. Banana, dates, rum, caramel, whipped cream, saffron, like intoxicating, yet not too overpowering. The banana note isn't too potent. I don't like bananas actually, but this is beautiful. So I had to include this in here. You can still purchase this fragrance right now. It's 4.2 ounces. It is amazing. Y'all need this. Like talk about perfection for summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to AI the Great. I will also link her channel down below. If you're watching this and you're not following her, what are you doing? She is the fragrance queen. I trust her with all of my fragrance recommendations, purchases. I would trust her with my debit card to go buy something for me. She is amazing. I'm so proud of her. I love this so much. This is the scent of summer. Sexy, deep, sweet, right on the cusp. It's neither masculine nor feminine. It's perfectly androgynous. Amazing. Had to include it. My next scent is, whew, this is, I just love this baby so much. Liquid Imaginaire's Blanche Bet. <sighs> I'll link my review down below so I don't have to go into the whole story, but this scent is a beautiful lactonic creamy vanilla jasmine. I don't like milk. I don't like milk anything besides oat milk creamer. So a lactonic scent, which smells like it comes from or derived of a milk product, technically that would be something that I would not be gravitating towards, but this is the most beautiful, creamy, dreamy, vanilla, milky scent I have ever tried. It doesn't have the best longevity on me, but hopefully as my bottle gets older, these scents will kind of just darken and deepen and turn more intense 
difference, I'm hoping. So I do spray this on my clothes to get better longevity, but this is beautiful, a compliment getter, very feminine and gorgeous, but if you don't like a milky scent, you might be turned off. I don't like milk and I love it though because it's just very sweet and creamy. Literally my mouth is watering. Love this so much. She will be getting a lot of use for sure. Okay, let's get on to makeup. I have a few products. The first is the foundation that I'm wearing today and I'm always gonna talk about it because it's perfect for the summer weather. NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Cadiz. I love this so much. Now this does run very light. I normally wear the shade Tahoe, but Tahoe was like, this color on me. So be sure to get shade matched for this and you might even have to grab a sample because looks can be deceiving. So this doesn't necessarily keep me from getting oily overall, but it keeps my face from sliding. So I love this. If you don't have oily skin, you're probably gonna find this very drying, but I get super, super oily in the summertime, so this is perfection. Okay, y'all knew I was gonna talk about her. Labs blush in the color Dragon for days. Ah, this baby is so pretty. I'm wearing it today. It's like a light wash of color, so I love it because it's not too intense. A lot of the bright colored blushes that I do own are from NARS and they tend to be very, very strikingly bold. But this I feel just gives me a wash of color. So if you don't like a full beat, I would say you're gonna love this because it's not a very intense blush, though the color is very shocking. They do have other colors that are bright. I think these are gonna be great for women of color and really great for summer just to give you a little pop of flair. I am obsessed. I definitely wanna get another one of these, so we'll see, but love, love, love this blush so much. Okay, my next product is something that I also got during the Sephora sale, and this is the One Size by Patrick Star Lip Snatcher in Jola Puss. And it is a liquid lipstick with like a cream lipstick on one side and a lip gloss with shimmer on the other side. I will leave a video down below where I wore this lip and insert a picture on the screen. This looks amazing. It makes your lips look so juicy and full and polished and beautiful. The only con is that it does leave a white ring in the inside of your mouth after a while. And I think that's just the barrier of your moist mouth and this lip product but besides that i love it so much the color that this gives your lips is just so gorgeous like i think you guys are really gonna love it just know that you will get that white line so just head to the bathroom every few hours and make sure you don't look crazy but i've been highly impressed with this this is the first product i've tried from one size and i definitely want to try something else okay and my next item is by bobby brown and this is the corrector in the shade dark peach. I have always seen makeup Shayla rave about this product. I've been following her since the days that she was super super heavy on YouTube for beauty videos and she's always used this product. I started using it recently on the corners of my mouth where I just have a little bit of darkness and it works so well. A corrector is almost like a very 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 pigmented concealer that has different undertones that help to cancel color. So for darkness in skin tones like myself you should use something that is peachy toned. I did think this was going to be a little more peachy like orange but it's not but it still works really well. I'll link a video down below where you can see me applying this. I love it. Like I'm surprised it works. I'm not. Bobbi Brown is an amazing amazing product line and this works so well. Shout out to Bobbi Brown. This will be in heavy rotation this summer. Okay let's get on to fashion. The first item is a pair of sunglasses glasses that you guys have seen me wear on Instagram and they are from the brand Desi. They're called the Backtrack. So this is what they look like. I will try them on just to give you guys a better look. Ooh, baby. Now I'm not going to pull them up too high on my face because I don't want to disturb my makeup. But period. Period. Like, we love them. I love the detailing on the side. I love how the glasses are angular with the actual lenses. The only problem with these sunglasses is that the side is so thick 
that it's sometimes hard for me to see when I'm driving. So I don't wear these when I'm driving, which is kind of annoying because that's like usually the only time I'm wearing sunglasses because like I don't leave the house that much. But if I'm gonna be outside, at a festival or something. I don't know why I'd be outside, but if I'm gonna be outside this summer, I will be wearing these sunglasses because they are everything. Okay, the next item that will be in heavy rotation is this little clutch bag. I got this from Shein actually, and I wore it a few months ago when I went to a state fair. It is faux leather, but it is such a great clutch. So it just opens like this and it has two D rings. You can attach a chain strap to it. I love that so much. The color is just so bright and fun. So you can wear it as a clutch or as a crossbody bag. And it was probably like under 20 bucks. It's not real leather, so it's not gonna last forever, but something for one or two seasons, like sometimes it's just so fun to have a fun little piece. So I will for sure be getting more use out of this. And they have it in like five other colors, so check it out. Okay, my next baby, of course, you guys already know, my mini Jody. I received, well, I didn't receive it, I bought this last year for my birthday or around that time. This mini Jody is just the most fabulous little bag. I love it. Now it is very, very mini, but I love it. I could wear it with what I'm wearing today. The leather is lambskin and it is so, well, I think it's lambskin and it's so soft. I know the girls are heavily into dupes right now, but once you feel authentic Bottega Veneta leather, you will not want to go to something subpar. Like, I don't care how understated this bag is and how quiet it is in terms of luxury. I'm always going to buy the authentic because the leather is unmatched. It's just so buttery and soft. And when you have things in the bag, it just feels like perfectly weighted. Like things like that matter to me. But once again, it's a very tiny bag, but I love it. I am gonna get another one. Hint, hint, hint. Love this baby so much. Very, very tiny. I will link the review I did down below, but I'm gonna get a lot of use out of her this summer. Hopefully, if I leave the house. <laughs> and the last item is my clear firkin. This is what it looks like. Shout out to my girl Coco McQueen because she sells these. I purchased this a few months ago from her website, but I don't go anywhere. So I haven't been anywhere yet to justify me wearing this bag because when I do leave the house, I'm out all day and I don't wanna have to carry something top handle like when I'm going to the mall or something. So I haven't yet worn her, but the moment I can get to a cute brunch where I don't need to carry a lot and be standing forever, I will surely carry this. It's basically just like a Birkin, but it's clear and it's so cute and so fun. I still love the clear handbag craze. So definitely check out my girl Coco McQueen and I will link her channel and her website down below. So guys, that is all I have to share with you today for my summer essentials video. As excited slash not that I am to get really hot temperatures this summer, I'm super excited to use all of my goodies. Let me know if you guys have any of these down below and you love them or what you are going to be using and loving this summer. I love you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.